Recently, a trailer came out for a new Cooking Mama game called Cooking Mama Cookstar, and it looks pretty neat. I've always had a passing interest in this series, so when I saw a new installment was coming to my current favorite console with newfangled motion controls, tons more recipes, and at a discounted price nonetheless, I was intrigued. So I set off to see if there were listings for physical copies online yet, because I'm more of a physical gamer than a digital one. This is where things got... interesting. First I tried Amazon, but found nothing. Then Best Buy. Nothing. Same thing with GameStop and Walmart. I couldn't find a listing for this game anywhere, despite the fact that, at time of writing, it's late February and this game is supposedly set to release sometime next month in March. So I did a little digging, and it turns out that the trailer for the game that's been going around and making headlines was apparently leaked by some Dutch store called Nedgame, before swiftly being taken down, but not swiftly enough for the internet to miss it. Alright then, problem solved. There aren't any online listings for the game because its reveal wasn't official. Makes sense at a glance, but then I thought about it a little more. Why would the trailer be leaked so close to the supposed release date? If the game really is coming out in March, why hasn't its parent company, Cooking Mama Limited, actually officially released the trailer for Cooking Mama Cookstar yet, when we're already so close to the release window? Again, time of writing, it is February. Late February. Wouldn't they want to build hype for the game by making a big reveal of it themselves? Just to be sure they weren't already doing that, I went to the official Cooking Mama Twitter account to see if they had confirmed the release date or any other details themselves, but again, I found nothing. Just a bunch of cutesy, in-character tweets from Mama about all the cooking she's been doing, while their Twitter banner appears to be advertising the mobile game Cooking Mama Let's Cook, which launched all the way back in 2015. The last release in the series was Cooking Mama Sweet Shop for the 3DS back in 2017, so it's been three years since the last Cooking Mama anything has happened. So why does everything seem so hush-hush about this game existing? People are excited for this new game, based on these leaks, and the people are treating these leaks as true, as fact. There's even people who have made fan art of this game in excitement that specifically mentions the March release date. So, still looking for answers, I watched the trailer again, and by the end of it, I was greeted with two interesting details. A website for the game, offering more info on it, and a little logo of a Saturn-looking planetoid with the word planet underneath it, alongside the full name of the company, Planet Entertainment LLC, sitting right next to Cooking Mama Limited's name. Obviously, wanting to know more, and still yearning for a physical copy of Cooking Mama Cookstar, of course, I went to the domain to see what I could find, only to be bewildered by not a website, but instead a GoDaddy.com page claiming the domain was parked and asking if I wanted to buy it off of them. Very curious at this point, I clicked more info and was greeted with the revelation that the domain was being held by somebody else already, but the website itself just hadn't gone up yet. This is when I knew something was weird about all this. I didn't know what, but I just couldn't shake the feeling that something else was going on here. Leaked trailer or not leaked trailer? The fact that this website doesn't go anywhere is just confusing. I will reiterate. As I write this video, it is about a week before March. And as I put this video out, we are just now over a week into March, and we still have no idea when the game is supposed to come out. There's no official press about it, no social media support, and the website in the supposedly real trailer that was leaked isn't up yet. What's going on with Cooking Mama Cookstar? This bizarre occurrence is what prompted me to make this video, but it honestly only got weirder the deeper I went. Let's loop back around to Planet Entertainment LLC. They appear to be a small developer that focuses on budget titles for the Nintendo Switch. They put out a Bass Pro fishing game, a Cabela hunting game, a mini golf game, generic party game title, all pretty typical looking, inoffensive stuff. The website seems active, saying that more games are coming soon. What was weird to me about the website wasn't the games, but rather the fact that there wasn't any sort of About Us section. Nearly all business websites I've ever seen have some sort of About page on their site that lists off key members of the company, what they've done in the past, or when the company was founded, or whatever. But there wasn't anything of the sort. They just seemed to display their name, the games they'd made, but nothing else. I also noticed that the website was apparently put up sometime in 2018 which I'm assuming is when they were founded as well. Remember that part, it's going to be important later. On top of that, this is the second round of leaks related to this game in the past year, 
Back in August of 2019, screenshots of the game and its title were leaked online and reported on by various gaming news outlets. And then nothing but silence again, until this trailer leaked in the past few weeks. All this information also came with the very interesting, but also extremely confusing tidbit that Cookstar would somehow implement blockchain technology, like you commonly hear pop up in conversations about cryptocurrencies, like Bitcoin. All of these weird little details kept adding up until I came across this one article from Game Rant that seemed to shed light on most of my questions while still raising many others. First off, it referred to the game under a different title, that being Cooking Mama, Coming Home to Mama, which I also only saw elsewhere on the Cooking Mama wiki, and couldn't really find any confirmation for, so I don't really know if it's like the Japanese title or what the name used to be or anything, so... Yeah, that's a little weird. Second, it explains in a bit more detail how the blockchain technology will supposedly be used in the game, with the article making claims such as... Each copy's unique private key will, optionally, allow the game to change expression algorithms for characters, ingredients, and cooking methods. This multiplayer feature will, in other words, be able to make every player's experience subtly different than everyone else's. And Planet Digital also claims that it will use the blockchain to secure online events by tracking hashes of the running game in order to evaluate whether it has been altered. This layer of security will also be used to reward players with in-game currency. It's noted that this currency could even be given by the game, traded with other players, or even distributed by third parties via promotions. Okay, take that for whatever it's worth. Last and most importantly, I saw a familiar but very different name. Planet Digital Partners, rather than Planet Entertainment LLC. So, I started looking into Planet Digital Partners, assuming that they were just a name change of the company at some point, or some sort of separate publishing branch of the company. But this is where things took an especially interesting turn. Planet Digital Partners is actually a fairly recently founded company that was put together by anybody but a pack of nobodies. There aren't any members that are real attention grabbers in terms of big names, but in terms of resume, Past achievements, holy smokes. Just to name a few, we have Kelly Sumner, the former CEO of both Guitar Hero developer Red Octane and publisher Take Two, who also had a long history with Commodore, Steve Grossman, who worked in marketing for Nintendo, Pepsi, and Michael Jackson, Chris Deering, the former president of PlayStation Europe, the list goes on. Then, after the game industry vets, you have a whole bunch of accomplished-looking crypto and business experts to fill out the rest of the list. It was at this point that yet another huge question formed in my mind. Why was I only now hearing about this company? I eat, sleep, and breathe games and gaming media. And my brother is huge into the blockchain scene, too. This is like the perfect like vertical slice, Venn diagram crossover thing for me to see. So how have I only heard about a blockchain-oriented developer made of massive industry vets just now? It's like some kind of public secret. I'm also failing to understand how this blockchain integration could reasonably be worked into a game like Cooking Mama, especially those previously mentioned in-game currency trackers. What's even stranger is the fact that if you do enough digging like I did, you learn that these guys publicly announced the new Cooking Mama over four months before the gaming journalism circle would report on the initial screenshot leaks. As it turns out, Planet Digital Partners has its own YouTube channel. It has three videos in total that it has posted over the course of the past year, 11 total subscribers, and even lower average view counts than what I get. I'm not going to cover all the videos in excessive detail, so I recommend that you go check out the channel yourselves, I'll leave a link in the description. But there are two things I want to highlight. First off, the trailer they put together for the company itself, which is an abbreviated version of their mission statement. It's a bit odd. It doesn't seem, like, shady or anything, but it definitely has an off feeling. Like it was made for potential investors who have no general knowledge of the video game industry at all. And some of the language they use is, at the very least, eyebrow raising. Their narrow focus ignores games that cost under $10 million, that can achieve sales of $50 million plus. Meaningless to them, but very meaningful to us. We call this the Opportunity Sweet Spot. 
The second thing to highlight here is the star of the hour, an actual televised live interview from February of 2019 on CNBC Africa where Kelly Sumner lays out the business plan for Planet Digital Partners. He explains in order that they're planning to launch a crypto token later that year, what the members of the company have done in the past and what they'll do in the future, and what franchises they plan to work with at the start, going so far as to directly mention the Cooking Mama franchise by name. Uh, and these video games will have embedded in them uh, blockchain technology. So yes, you can play the video game as it is, or, or you can add, uh, or you can play it with the technology. Uh, we've already got three uh, titles which are part of our uh, roster, which is uh, Cook and Mama, uh, Bass Hunter, and Kabilis. Between them, they've sold over three hundred million dollars worth of uh, games uh, historically. There he is, the former CEO of multiple major companies with forty years' experience in the industry, openly saying that his company will be working on Cooking Mama in the near future. And yet, this doesn't seem to come up nearly as much as the screenshots or anything. I had no idea that this mention was made until I found this one video. I think the reason this gets me so riled up is that, while one or two non-gaming focused outlets reported on the launch of the company and even repeated the fact the Cooking Mama was involved, remember that general gaming media acted like the leak several months after the CNBC interview was the first time we'd heard anything about a new Cooking Mama. Sure, that's when we got a name and some real evidence of a specific title being in development, but Sumner mentioned it on TV, as did several publications months and months before those leaks. Why wasn't this fact more widely reported? I mean, like, dude, gaming media outlets in general will make news out of anything. Anything. Any silly little fact, any baseless rumor, any scrap of information at all will do in some cases. I should know, I've totally been there. So how did this go unnoticed by most of the gaming world? Again, I'm not trying to imply that Planet Digital Partners is doing anything immoral or shady or anything, but all of these pieces just don't fit together. I also can't seem to find out if other games made by Planet Entertainment were necessarily made by the people who work for Planet Digital Publishing, as again, there's no About Us page on their website to cross-reference with the known members of Planet Digital Publishing. Various articles claim that Planet Digital Publishing was founded, or at least publicly opened, in early 2019. But if you recall, our first trip to the Planet Entertainment website, that they supposedly opened in 2018. How does that work? Were then existing small-time developer and a bunch of bigwigs just decided to buy them out in a bid to corner the lucrative budget games market with blockchain integration as a unique selling point? There wasn't anything about it online. And honestly, at this point, I feel like I'm going in circles. So that's it, I'm done, I'm done for now. Gamers and crypto people, feel free to do your own digging, please, I encourage it. I'll leave a few links in the description to get you started on your journey, but I need to back out now before I go too deep. It all feels so bizarre. Early on in this researching process, I asked myself out loud, is Cooking Mama Cookstar even real? Is this trailer just a really great fan trailer that the public fell for? That thought seriously seemed possible at one point. Well, I guess not, because in the time it took me to get off my lazy ass and make this video, GameStop has since put up a listing for Cooking Mama Cookstar for pre-order on their website. This is pretty reassuring, after all the doubt and rabbit hole spelunking I've done to weave this twisted web of conspiracy, but the release date seems to be a placeholder as it reads that the game will be released on March 31st, the last day of the month, a common practice many companies use when they aren't exactly sure when a game is coming out. I don't know. Maybe it's real. I hope it's real. Maybe then all this crap would start to make sense. Either way, keep your eyes on Planet Entertainment and Planet Digital Partners. I believe that whatever ends up happening with Cooking Mama Cookstar, we'll be seeing some interesting things come out of them. In the meantime, I'm going to play Cooking Mama 1 on my DS to try and take my mind off this web of conspiracy. I better do my best. Mama's always watching. Hey guys, thanks for sticking it out to the end of the video. I know this was a long one. I really wanted to get this done. I'd appreciate it if you gave it a share, maybe a like, so more people will see it. If you'd like to hear updates on things that I'll be doing in the future, other projects and stuff like that, then you can follow me on Twitter at PurpockPartyBus. 
Thanks a lot for sticking out to the end again, guys. I'll see you all next time, which is hopefully soon. Have a good night. Take care.